Bestbookbits.com presents A Whole New Mind, Why Right Brains Will Rule the Future by Daniel H. Pink. The future belongs to a different kind of person with a different kind of mind. Artist, inventors, storytellers, creative, and holistic right brain thinkers whose abilities mark the fault line between who gets ahead and who doesn't. Drawing on research from around the world, Pink, author of To Sell is Human, The Surprising Truth About Motivating Others, outlines the six fundamentally human abilities that are absolute essentials for professional success and personal fulfillment, and reveals how to master them. A Whole New Mind takes readers to a daring new place, and a provocative and necessary new way of thinking about a future that's already here. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of A Whole New Mind. Learn why big picture holistic thinking is and will become even more important in the future. People have assumed from ancient times about a division in our brain, namely a left and right hemisphere. Modern science has supported a neurological divide, although we know that in every activity we engage in, both hemispheres cooperate. While there is a cooperation, we also know that each hemisphere takes a dominant role in certain activities. The left hemisphere specializes in breaking things into details, while the right hemisphere is better at providing a broader picture. A good example of left brain activity is language. To process language while we read or listen, the left brain has to break down symbols or words, then complex connections have to be made to understand, however the right hemisphere jumps in, for example, when irony or metaphors are used. Reasoning is also somewhat differentiated between hemispheres. The left side tends to react to things learned in the past, while the right side interprets intuitive knowledge like an angry facial expression, which all cultures know to be negative. Left-directed thinking has been praised historically. Once people thought that the left hemisphere is what differentiates us from animals because we can solve analytical tasks. Left-directed thinking is sequential, functional, literal, textual, and analytical. Right-directed thinking is characterized by more contextual, holistic, metaphorical, aesthetic, and synthetic thinking. Left-directed thinking has been appreciated more than the right-side thinking and considered to be better for a successful approach to life. That's why our school exams reward logic, linear thinking, to arrive at a single answer in a time allotted, similar to a computer. Nowadays, however, the importance of right-directed thinking is growing in importance. The conceptual age. The information age has brought us economic growth and rising living standards. The reason is that as education became increasingly available to everyone, more and more people were able to follow this inherently left brain method of specializing in knowledge and become well-paid white-collar workers. The direction is changing now, however, as the marketplace becomes increasingly crowded by highly specialized left brain white-collar workers, it becomes more and more competitive and thus harder to differentiate oneself in the crowd and gain economic value. Right brain individuals, meanwhile, are becoming more and more prized as they excel in design, story, empathy, symphony, and meaning, which is not easily achieved by left brains. Someone who develops aptitude in those areas gains a critical competitive advantage in today's crowded marketplace. Another reason for the importance of right-directed thinking is that it is highly logical, right-sided society. People increasingly search for meaning, purpose, and yearn for the immaterial. This move indicates that we move from the information age into the so-called conceptual age, an age where there is a high demand for skills that are of high concept, meaning the ability to combine unrelated items into new creations. This demand is already visible as creativity is highly valued and more and more students get taught lessons on developing right-sided things like creativity. Design provides utility and significance. Design gains more and more importance in our modern world and especially the industry. Research at the London Business School shows that for every percent of sales increased in product design, there is a rise in profits of around 3-4% to for the company. Research also indicates that improving the design of a school's physical environment can increase the performance of students. People are also becoming aware of good design. With a flooded marketplace where functionality is the norm, what makes things stand out is its design. Good design provides utility. Good design provides utility and significance. The utility is the task a certain thing is supposed to do, and significance is the impact of the thing provides outside of its utility. For example, two smartphones may be able to perform calls 
utility, but one phone is aesthetically better and functionally more comfortable to use significance. Storytelling gives more context and meaning to facts. Throughout history, storytelling has been an integral part of the transmission of information and the human experience. We tend to remember stories far better because they convey context and meaning, whereas dry facts are harder to recall. We can relate to stories and see our lives as a collection of stories. Facts have become less relevant in the information age because they can easily be accessed online. As we move into the conceptual age, the ability to place facts in context and deliver them as a story becomes more relevant. This is a reflection in business, where being able to tell a story is increasingly critical to success. Stories also help companies to stand out from the crowded marketplace. This is because people are more able to relate to companies and products if they hear about them as stories. Organizational storytelling is a new movement where organizations collect stories their employees tell so the company has relatable human stories to share. Xerox, for example, instead of relying on manuals for their technicians, use the stories they collected from their technicians about repairing machines to teach others. Synergy. The whole is greater than its parts. The dominant type of knowledge acquisition in the past was taking things apart and memorizing the individual pieces it consists of. The education system works like this also, consisting in a great part of disassembling and memorization. But today, information in the form of facts is available with the tip of a finger or just by a voice command through an intelligent assistant in our smartphones or even watches and glasses. No longer is there a need to store individual facts in our memory. What is much more important and valuable is putting together individual pieces of information into something bigger, like a symphony. A symphony is put together like a great variety of instruments by a composer or music producer. The ability to think in the big picture also is a big advantage in the industry. Where the life cycle of new products become increasingly short, this means that companies are consistently focused to come up with the innovative ideas. The best innovators are those able to combine things from many different areas, often completely unrelated areas, and combine them into good ideas. George de Mastral observed how Bordock seeds stuck to his dog's fur thanks to tiny hooks that covered them, which led him to invent Velcro. The study of self-made millionaires showed that the average they were more likely to be dyslexic. They struggled with linear reasoning, but excel at broader, big picture thinking, a trait that apparently makes them more successful. Big picture thinking can also bring more happiness. Those who are able to see that the stress and worries are just small parts of the whole are less likely to get dragged down by them. Empathy, playfulness, and meaning. While a big part of our modern industry is already taken over by machines, and this progress seems to keep accelerating, humans have something which is likely not soon replaceable by machines, empathy. Many clients and patients want to deal with someone who has empathy, for example, when they visit their lawyer or doctor. Playfulness and humor are another big factors which contribute to better human relations, better workplace experience, and less stress. Humor is a generator in the right side of the brain because to understand humor, we need context, seeing things from new angles and the bigger picture. Increasingly more people seek to fulfill their lives with meaning and purpose. This is why spirituality is on the rise. Studies have found that increased spirituality can improve maladies and reduce the risk of suicide. People who regularly worship, feel gratitude, also have been found to live longer than others. These findings affect how medical schools teach. Now many physicians take courses on spirituality. To sum it up, the ability to think in terms of big picture becomes increasingly important for economical advantage, happiness, and a fulfilled life. And that's a wrap on the book summary of A Whole New Mind. Check out a YouTube channel with over 400 video book summaries uploaded previously at Best Book Bits. Check out our website, bestbookbits.com, where you can find the written summary, where you can download the PDF written summary to read offline in categories from biographies, business and marketing, habits, health, leadership, money, personal development, philosophy, psychology, real estate, relationship, sales, spirituality, success, and time management. If you're into the audio podcast, check out mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits where you'll find the audio book summary and last check out our instagram page best book bits for daily motivational quotes and book summaries thanks for watching and listening hope you have an amazing day take care